sinner and save you know, those lost in my public place. Oh, God be gracious to me, the sinner and save me. Vlegitos of Theos, Simon, Pandotin, Kea, Ike, Susanus, Toneon, and blessed is our God always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Doxus, O Theos, Lutisimon, Kiria, Doxus, O Heavenly King, comfort of the Spirit of Truth, ever present, filling all things, treasury of blessings, and giver of life. Come and abide within us, and cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Save, O Lord, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Grant unto the faithful victory over adversaries, and by the power of thy cross do thou preserve thy commonwealth. Glory to the Father, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, thou wast raised upon the cross of thine own will, O Christ our God. Do thou bestow thy compassions upon this, thy new commonwealth named after thee. Gladden with thy sovereign might our most orthodox hierarchs, and vouchsafe them victory over every false teaching. And as they help in war, may they possess the weapon of peace, the trophy invincible, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O dread protection that cannot be put to shame, disdain not of good one our entreaties, O all him to Theotokos. Make steadfast the commonwealth of the Orthodox, protect those whom thou hast enjoined to rule over us, and grant them victory from on high, for thou hast given birth to God, O only blessed one. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for our Archbishop and Father Methodios. For you are merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy and consubstantial and life-giving and undivided Trinity, always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, why they multiply that afflict me, many rise up against me, many say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept. I woke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause are mine enemies. The teeth of sinners hast thou broken. Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath, for thine arrows are fastened in me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities are risen higher than my head, as a heavy burden have they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down until the end. All the day long I went with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mockings, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee all is all my desire, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled. My strength hath failed me. The light of mine eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me and stood in my nearest of kids uh, far off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evils for me spake vain things and craftiness all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth. And I became as a man that heareth not, and that hath in his mouth no reproofs. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spoke, spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. 
But mine enemies live and are made stronger than I am. They that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slandered me because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul hath thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee in a land barren and untrodden and unwatered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than lives. My lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life. And in thy name will I lift up my hands, as with marrow and fatness let my soul be filled, and with lips of rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remembered thee on my bed at the dawn, I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper, and in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. But as for these, in vain have they sought after my soul, they shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth, they shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword, portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God. Everyone shall be praised that sweareth by him. For the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. Glory to the Father, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee let my prayer come before thee. Bow down thine ear unto my supplication, for filled with evils is my soul, and my life unto Hades hath drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am become as a man without help, free among the dead, like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness and in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me. They have made me an, a sin on th- abo- they have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up and have not come forth. Mine eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead wilt thou work wonders, or shall physicians raise them up that they may give thanks unto thee? Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy and of thy truth in that destruction? Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness and thy righteousness in that land that is forgotten? But as for me, unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul, and turnest thy face away from me? A poor man am I, and in troubles for my youth. Yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water. All the day long they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, mine acquaintances, because of my misery. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things. Thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy and executeth judgment for all them that are wronged. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wroth. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his sons, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are as the grass, as the flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will he know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication in thy truth, hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth, he hath sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead, and my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remembered days of old, I meditated on all thy works, I pondered on the creations of thy hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not away thy face from me. 
lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord. Unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness, for thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory be to thee. And Irini to Kriude, Thomen. Iberti Sano, and Irini, Skit Zodiria, some Sigoni Mont Kriude, Thomen. Iberti Sirini, Sisimon, those calls more of Satia, so now you enter the Ecclesion, get this tomb under no sales to Kriude, Thomen. Iberti, why you eco to to get a metabistio, several years, get over the Uision and enough to Kriude, Thomen. For all pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Archbishop and Father Methodius, the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, the President, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this town and city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation let us pray to the lord lord have mercy for our deliverance from all affliction wrath danger and distress and from the peril of the coronavirus against us let us pray to the lord lord have mercy for our brothers and sisters those who lead the fight against the coronavirus the doctors the medical workers and scientists let us pray to the lord lord have mercy help us save us have mercy on us and protect us O god by your grace Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The Oskirios kepe for many mid, Evlogi menos or commandos and non nomadic kiriu. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. The Lord is God, and he appeared to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. The Lord is God, and he appeared to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And this has come about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and he appeared to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Let the heavens sing for joy, let everything on earth be glad. For with his arm the Lord has worked power. He trampled death underfoot by the by means of death, and he became the firstborn from the dead, from the maw of Hades. He delivered us, and he granted the world his great mercy. Ni pavogan voxa patrike oike ai opnemati teston da crion suro esti serimu to agonon ege orgisas geti sek vathus ten nagmis i sekaton tus bonus e carpo forisas ke egonas fostir 
Tiku meni laban ti sabmasin, iuani patiri monosie. Presbebe Christo to Theo, so thinetas psychasimon. Both now and ever and to the <coughs> both now and ever and to the ages of ages, Amen. Born of a virgin, O good one, who also endured crucifixion for our sake, who by death took the spoils of death as plunder, and showed resurrection, being God, O despise not the ones that you formed with your own hand. Demonstrate your love for mankind, O Lord of mercy, and accept your mother and Theotokos, who intercedes on our behalf, O Savior, and save us, a despairing people. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, the Mother of God, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For yours the dominion and yours the kingdom, the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ has risen from the dead, the first of those who have fallen asleep. The artificer of all things that were made was first born before all creation. Now he has renewed the corrupted nature of our human race in himself. O death, you no longer have dominion, for the master of all has destroyed your power. Vox patrice oikia io pneumati, sarcitu thanatu gifsam en nos kyrie, to picron tu thanatu exete mesti egersisu, que ton anthropon kataftu en nisgisas, tis archeas kataras tin itan anakalumenos, O hyperaspistis ti zoi simon, kyrie doxasi. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. Unto you who mediated the salvation of our race, we sing praises, O virgin Theotokos, for your Son and our God, in the flesh that he assumed from you, accepted suffering by means of crucifixion, and has thereby set us free from corruption in his love for man. Nem evlogito si kyrie vivexol meta dikeomata sum, Ton angelon no dimos cate plagi oron sem en e cris logis tendam, tu thanatu de sotir tinis kin cathelonda, que sin e afto ton adame giranda, que exadu panda se lefteros andam. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. <coughs> Very early in the morning, the myrrh-bearing women were hastening to your tomb, lamenting. But the angel appeared to them and uttered, The time for lamentation has ended, weep no more. Go announce the resurrection to the apostles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, we bow down in worship to the Father and His Son and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence 
and we cry aloud with the seraphim, Holy, holy, holy are you, O Lord. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. Giving birth to the giver of life, O virgin, you delivered Adam from sin, and to Eve you have rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate God and man has directed to life him who fell from it. <clears throat> alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 the exasio theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Adilabus, sosan elei, son, que dia filox animas oteos, disicharitim. Kiria elei, son. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious lady, the Theotokos, the mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, with all these saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. O etia vlogita sut onoma que doxas te sui vasilia tu patros que tu iu que tu agiu pnevmatos ninke agi que isu se onas to ne onon. Amen. Astounding in appearance, refreshing by the words he spoke, the flashing angel said to the myrrh-bearing woman, Why do you look in a tomb for the living one? He is risen and has emptied the tombs. Know him, the unchanging changer of corruption. Say to God, how awesome are your works, for you have saved the human race. vavilonos. <clears throat> <clears throat> Kamekton pathon prozoin el kison loyem. Those who sow shedding goodly te godly tears when the south wind is blowing, joyously will harvest tears of life everlasting. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, as in the Father and the Son, radiates intrinsically every gift of goodness. And in Him all things both live and move. Unless the Lord build the house of the virtues, in vain do we labor. But if he protect the soul, no one can conquer our city. O Christ, the fruit of the womb, by the Spirit are the saints, forever as adopted sons, to you as to a hey, father. Doxa patrike ion kia io pnevmati, kenin kia i, keis tu se onas ton neon onamin. In the Holy Spirit are perceived all holiness and wisdom, for he gives substance to all creation, since he is God. Let us worship him as we do the Father and Logos. <coughs> Say among the Gentiles, the Lord is King, for he established the world which shall not be shaken. 
O oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Say among the Gentiles, The Lord is King, for he has established the world, which shall not be shaken. From the tomb you rose today, O Lord of tender compassion. Also from the gates of death you let us out, O our Savior. On this day is Adam dancing and Eve rejoices, and with them together patriarchs and the prophets are unceasingly extolling the divine power of your authority. In the height of self-control, the Lord has placed you as a true, unerring star illuminating all the earth and also guiding us to the light as our professor and mentor, O Father John. John. You have rendered yourself God's true abode, O Father, by your divine virtue, adorning it lucidly as with gold that glitters from afar. You set forth faith hope, and true charity as divine axioms. As with angelic self-control, you practiced prudence, courage, and temperance. You acquired humility by which you were exalted. Hence, you were enlightened by prayer unfailing, and you attained the mansions of heaven as our professor and mentor, O Father John. On April 11th, we commemorate the holy hieromartyr Antipas, Bishop of Pergamum. On this day, we also commemorate the devout woman Trephena of Syzicus. On this day, we also commemorate our our devout father, Pharmuthius. On this day, the fourth Sunday of Lent, we commemorate our devout father, John, author of the latter. John, who was dead in the flesh while living, ever lives while appearing to be dead and not breathing. He left us his book, The Ladder for Ascending, and shows us the way of his ascent to heaven. By his intercessions, O God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Ανοίξω το στόμα μου και πληρωθήσε το πνεύματος και λόγον ερεύξω με τη βασιλή Δημήτρη και οφθήσω με πέδρος πανηγυρίζον και άσω γηθόμενος ταύτης τα θαύματα. Amazed was the universe by your divine magnificence, you who were perpetually virgin, carried the heavenly God of all in your womb and gave birth to the eternal Son who awards salvation to all who sing hymns of praise to you. Godly-minded three did not adore created things in the Creator's stead, rather disdaining the threat of fire they trampled it and joyfully they sang, O supremely praised and most exalted Lord and God of the fathers you are blessed. And numen evlogumen ke proskinumen ton kirion Guiltless were those servants in the furnace. The son of the Theotokos went and rescued them. He who was prefigured then, having been 
incarnate now is gathering the whole wide world into his church to sing oh all you works of the lord to all ages sing praises to the lord and exalt him beyond measure uh, let us pray to the lord lord have mercy Oti agio si o theosimon, ken agi sa panapavi ka siti doxa na na pembomento, padri ka doyo ka to agi o pnevmatini ka agi ka Jesus e onas to ne onon. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Pas apno i anesato ton kirion, anesato apno i. That we may be deemed worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us entreat the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The Holy Gospel is according to John. Let us listen attentively. Glory to you. Lord, glory to you. At that time when they had finished breakfast, Jesus saw, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you sacrificially love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I have affection for you. He said to him, feed my lambs. A second time, he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you sacrificially love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I have affection for you. He said to him, tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you have affection for me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, Do you have affection for me? He said to him, Lord, you know everything you know that I have affection for you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Truly, truly, I say to you, when you were young, you girded yourself and walked where you would. But when you were old, you will stretch out your hands and another will gird you and carry you where you do not wish to go. This he said to show by what death he was to glorify God. After this, he said to him, Follow me. Peter turned and saw, following them, the disciple whom Jesus loved, who had lain close to his breast at the supper, and had said, Lord, who is it going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about this man? Jesus said to him, if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. The saying, the saying spread among the brethren that this disciple was not to die. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he was not to die, but if this is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who is bearing witness to these things and who has written these things. And we know that his testimony is true, but there are also many other things which Jesus did were every one of them to be written. I suppose the world itself could not contain the book that would be written. Amen. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God, apart from you we know no other, we call upon your name. Come, all ye faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise His resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, He destroyed death by death. Eleison me o Theos, kata to mega leosu, kika kata to plithos to niktirmon su, exalipson to anami mamu. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown 
and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Glory <coughs> to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Open to me the gates of repentance, O giver of life, early in the morning. My spirit ascends to your holy temple, bringing the temple of my body all defiled. But as one compassionate cleanse me, I pray by your loving kindness and mercy. Can in ke ai keis tu seonas ton eononamin ti satirias eftilon mi tribus theotoikem. Es res gar kateri posam din psikin amarties onrathimos ton vion mu Olon ek da panisas tesas presvies risem pasis akatharsias. Mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy and according to the abundance of your compassion, <coughs> blot out my transgression when I ponder on my wretchedness, on the many terrible things I have done. I tremble for that awesome day, the day of judgment. But trusting in the mercy of your compassion, like David, I cry to you, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory. Send down upon us your great, rich, and abundant mercies through the intercessions of our most pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and light, giving cross the protection of the honorable, bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious, provident, foreigner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praise for the apostles of our fathers among the saints, great ecumenical teachers and hierarchs, base of the great Gregor theologian, and John Christum Athanasius, and Cyril John the merciful, patriarchs of Alexandria, 
Nicholas, Bishop Amida, patron saint of this church, spirit honor, Trimithus, and Nectarius of Panopolis, the wonder workers, the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George, the victorious, Demetrius, the mere flowing theater, of Tina, the, the, the commander, Minas, the wonder worker, Lefterius, and Canalambos, the holy priest, martyrs, the holy, glorious, and great, Women, martyrs of Thimia, Thecla, Barbara, Nasasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fortini, Marina, Paraskevi, Irene, and Glicidias, of our holy and God-bearing fathers, the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim, Anan, um, of John Climacus, author of The Ladder, whose memory commemorate today, and of all your saints, we beseech you, the only most merciful Lord, listen to us sinners who pray to you and have mercy on us. Kyrie eleison, 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 Kyrie eleison. Eleike tirimis ke filantropia tu mono genus tu iume thu evlogito esi sin do panagio ke agatho ke zopio su pnevmati nin ke agi ke isus eonas ton eonon. Amin. Ti theodokon ke videre tu foto esenin nisti mondes megalinomen. Leietos. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Ότι επέβλεψεν επί την ταπείνωσιν της δούλης αυτού, η ζούγαρ από του νυν μακαριούσι με πάσε γενε. Την τιμή ο τέραν των χερουβήμ και εν δόξο τέραν να συγκρίτω στον σεραφήμ την αδιαφόρο εις θεών λόγων τεκούσαν την όντος θεοτόκον for he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He had showed strength with his arm, he had scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word. And are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. And the love to Israel, Pedos of Tumnis in Eleus, Catosilavis, the Prusus Pater Simon to Abraham, Ketos Fermati of Tueos, Eonos, Tindimi, Oter, and Tuncheruvim, and Oxoter, and Nassing Ritos, Tonserafim. Την αδιαφόρο εις Θεόν λόγων τεκούσαν, την όντως Θεοτόκον σε μεγαλύνομεν. All you born on earth, with festival lamps in hand and spirit leap for joy, and all you the heavenly angelic orders join in and celebrate. And honoring the sacred wonders of the Mother of God, sing the joyful salutation. O oh, rejoice, Theotokos, all blessed, ever virgin pure. Aegios Kyrios, O Theosimon. Holy is the Lord our God. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at the footstool of His feet. For He is holy. Do you love me?
me the Lord inquire three times of Peter after the divine rising <laughs> from the dead, whereupon he appoints him to be the chief shepherd of his sheep, and seeing the disciple whom Jesus loved following them, he asked the Master Lord, What about him? And he said, If it is my will that this one remain until I come again, what is that to you, friend Peter? You spurn the comforts of the world as being sources of distress. The flesh you withered by fasting, devout one thus renewing, the vim and vigor of the soul, O Father ever memorable, and you became exceeding rich in heavenly glory. Therefore, cease not for us in interceding. O Lady, we confess that you are Theotokos, literally, through you we have our salvation, for you ineffably gave birth to God who neutralized the force of death being crucified. Thus he attracted to himself the companies of devout monks with whom we laud you, O Virgin. judgment this glory have all his holy ones who come on you nations know the power of the awe-inspiring mystery for Christ our Savior the Logos who was in the beginning voluntarily for us was crucified and buried and he rose from the dead to save the universe. Let us worship him. Praise God in his saints. <clears throat> Praise him in the firmament of his power. Those who guarded you reported all the marvelous events, O Lord. However, the Sanhedrin of futility filled their hands with gifts, thinking that in this way they could hide your resurrection, which the world glorifies. Have mercy on us. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the abundance of your of his greatness the universe was filled in the joy was filled with joy in the experience of your resurrection mary magdalene came onto the tomb and found an angel sitting upon the stone with his garments flashing like lightning he said to her why do you seek 
Among the dead, the one who is alive, he is not here, but has risen, as he said, and is going before you to Galilee. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord. He will delight exceedingly in his commandments. Holy Father John, most glorious, you shed a wellspring of tears, and your soul thus was purified. You propitiated God by your standing in prayer all night. Thus given wings you ascended to his love and to his beauty, all blessed as you are, which now you worthily are enjoying endlessly as you rejoice with your fellow athlete monks, O godly-minded saint. Allah. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Come, let us labor in the mystical vineyard, producing fruits of repentance within it. Not laboring for things that are eaten or drunk, but by prayer and fasting attaining the virtues. By such will the Lord of the labor be pleased, and he will grant them the denarius by which he ransoms souls from the dirt of sin. For he alone is greatly merciful. (coughs) 
Nøm kan din kære i Kristus er åndest ånd af ånd under min. I bæreblå i mænd i parkistad og torke parthenem. Vi agar du eksus arkothendos o avi sigma lotistem o adamana keklitem. I kataran den negrote i eva i lefterotem. O thanatos te thanatote, ke i mise zo opithimen, di o anim nun des vomen, evlogitos Christos o Theos imon, o utos evdokisas doxasi. Ke digam, Δόξα σι το δείξαν τι το φω, δόξα εν ύψη τη Θεό. Και επί γη σιρήνη εν ανθρώπη ευδοκία. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. Κύριε Βασιλέφε, πουράνι έθε, πατέρ παντοκράτος, Κύριε Ιε μόνο γενέσι, Ιησού Χριστέ και Άγιον Πνεύμα. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. Os dexet in the is in the mall, no cathimen os ek dexi on tu patros, kele is on the mall. For you alone are holy, you alone are Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Tate kast in imera nevlo Jesus ekene soto no masu istone ona ke istone ona tu e onos. Vouch safe, O Lord, on this day that we may be kept without sin. Evlogitos i Kyrie o Theos ton pateron imon και ενετών και δε δοξασμένων το όνομά σου εις τους αιώνας αμήν. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, as we set our hope in you. Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. O Holy Lord, you dwell on high, but watches over all things below. With your all encompassing gaze, you oversee all creation. You be above both in spirit and body. And to you we pray, O Holy of Holies. Extend your unseen hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. And if we have sinned willfully or unintentionally as a good and loving God, forgive. Lord, I have pledged to you. Granting us both your earthly and heavenly gifts. Teach me to do your will. For you are my God. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. For with you is the fountain of life. In your life we shall see. Now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Continue your mercy to those who know you. Most holy Theotokos, save us from the Lord. Ay, O Theotokos, ay, O Sisiros, ay, O Satanatos, and lay on Holy God, holy mighty. Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. And uh, Glory Saint to the John, Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The latter whose memory commemorates Both today and of all the saints, have mercy on us to save us. Is the Amen. Holy Immortal, God, who loves holy be immortal have mercy on us. Agios ho Theos. Om Lima Iti. 
Agios Atalatosem Leison Imas Today Today has salvation come to pass in the world. Let us sing to him who was resurrected from the tomb and is the author of our life. For destroying death by death, he gave us the victory and great mercy. Ευλογημένη βασιλεία του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος, νυν και Αγίοι και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων, blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> Κύριε Λέγισον, υπέρ της άνωθεν ειρήνης και της σωτηρίας των ψυχών ημών του Κυρίου Δεγηθόμεν. Κύριε Λέγισον, υπέρ της ειρήνης του σήμαντος κόσμου, ευσταθία των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και της των πάντων όσεως του Κυρίου Δεγηθόμεν. Κύριε Λέγισον, for this holy house and for those who entered with faith, reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Κύριε Λέγισον, for pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Κύριε Λέγισον, for Archbishop and Father <laughs> Methodios, the Honorable Presbyterate for the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the president, and for all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For this town, for this parish and town, for every city and town, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our brothers and sisters, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, the Mother of God and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship <coughs> to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O Lord my soul, and everything God. within me. Bless his, his holy beyond. name. Through the His intercessions the of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Ευλογή ψυχή μου των Κύριων και μη επιλανθάνου πάσα στα σανταποδόσεις αυτού, τες πρεσβείες της Θεοτόκου, Soter so son The Lord prepared his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all through the intercessions of the Theotokos. Save your save us.
Ετικέτη εν ειρήνη του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε ελέησον. Αντιλαβούς όσον ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της η χάρητη. Κύριε ελέησον. Της Παναγίας Αχράντου υπερευλογημένης <coughs> ενώ έξου δεσποινής ημών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένου Μαρίας με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντες εαυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν την ζωή ημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα. Συγκύριε. Ο ετήσον το κράτος και σου έστειν η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νικέ Αγί και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμέν. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I shall praise the Lord while I live. I shall sing to my God as long as I exist. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Makario su o Theos Iacovo ithos aftu, i elpis aftu epikirion ton Theon aftu. Sosson imas i etheu, o Anastas ek nekron, Psalondas i Alleluiam. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluiam. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Logos of God, being immortal, you condescended for our salvation to take flesh from the Holy Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. Christ our God, you were crucified and conquered death by death. Being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, Save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, the Mother of God, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To Thee, O Lord. For You are a good and loving God, and to You we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. This is the day the Lord made. Let us greatly rejoice and be glad therein. Let the heavens sing for joy and let everything on earth be glad. For with his arm the Lord has worked power. He trampled death underfoot by the means of death. And he became the firstborn from the dead, from the mouth of Hades. Blessed is the entrance of your saints always, now and forever, into the ages of ages. He delivered us and granted the world his great mercy. Sophia, Orthim, come let us bow down to Christ, 
as we worship him. So sonny masi etheu, o anastas eknekron. Salondasi halleluja, efrenes tota urania, galias tota epigia, oti epis ekratos, en brachioni aftu o kirios, Επάτησε το θανάτο των θανάτων, πρωτότοκος των νεκρών εγένετο, εκκυλίας άδου ερίσατο ημάς, και παρέσχετο κόσμο το Μέγα Ελαιό. Let the heavens sing for joy and let everything on earth be glad, for with his arm the Lord has worked power, He has trampled death underfoot by means of death, and he became the firstborn of the dead. From the maw of Hades he delivered us, and he granted the world his great mercy. Teston da kryon suroes ti serimu to agonon e georgis as ketis ek vathus ten agmis, εις εκατόν τους πόνους σε καρποφορείς σας και γεγονάς φωστήρτη οικουμένη λάμπον της θαύμασιν Ιωάν η πατήρη μόνος ήε πρέσβε με Χριστό το Θεό σωθήνεθας ψυχάς ημών With the rivers of your tears you made the barren desert bloom And with your sighs from the deep within, you made your labors bear their fruits a hundredfold. And you became a star, illuminating the world by your miracles. O John, our devout Father, intercede with Christ our God for the salvation of our souls. Ne kanol na pisteos ke ikol na praotitos en gratias didaskalona ne dixese ti pimni su i ton pragmaton alithia Δια τούτο εκτίσω τη ταπεινώση, τα υψηλά, τη πτωχία, τα πλούσια, πατέρι εράρχα Νικόλαε, πρέσβε με Χριστό το Θεό, σωθήνε τας ψυχάς, Ημών. Ακ' as a rule of faith, an icon of meekness and a teacher of temperance. For this cause thou hast achieved the heights by humility, riches by poverty. O Father and I, your Arch Nicholas, intercede with Christ God, that our souls be saved. Ti hyper machos stratigot anikitiria os litrothisai ton inon evcharistiria al nagrafos ipoli Now inscribe to you. 
triumphant anthems as the tokens of my gratitude. Being rescued from the terrors of Theotokos, in as much as you have power unassailable from all kinds of perils free me so that unto you i may cry aloud rejoice o unwedded bride to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Aios, O Theos, Aios, 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 have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy, immortal, have mercy on us. The enemies are praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King. O oh, clap your hands, all you nations, shout to God with the voice of rejoicing. Wisdom. The reading is from the letter to the Hebrews. Let us listen attentively. Brethren, when God made a promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore to himself, saying, Surely I will bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham, having patiently endured, obtained the promise. Men indeed swear by a greater than themselves, and in all their disputes an oath is final for confirmation. So when God desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of the promise the unchangeable character of his purpose, he interposed with an oath, so that through the two unchangeable things, in which it is impossible that God should prove false, we who have fled for refuge might have strong encouragement to seize the hope set before us. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner shrine behind the curtain where Jesus has gone as a forerunner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever 
after the order of Melchizedek. Proskome. Psalate to Theoimon, psalate. Psalate to Vasilimon, psalate. Pandata etnikrotisate hiras. Alalaxate to Theo en fonia galiaseos. Prosevreus epistolis to alagnosma. Proskome. Adelphi. Το Αβραάμ επιγγυλάμενος ο Θεός, επί κατουδενός είχε μείζωνος ο Μώσε, όμως σε κάθε αυτού λέγον, ημίν ευλογών ευλογήσωσε και πληθύνον πληθυνώσε. Και ούτω μακροθυμή σα επέτυχε της επαγγελίας. Άνθρωποι μεν γάρ κατά του μείζωνος ομνίουσι και πάσης αυτής αντιλογίας πέρασης βεβαίω είναι ο όρκος. Ενώ περισσότερον βουλόμενος ο Θεός επιδείξε τις κληρονόμης της επαγγελίας των αμετάθετων της βουλής αυτού, εμεσίτευσεν όρκο, ήνα δια δύο πραγμάτων αμεταθέτων, εν, ήνα δια δύο πραγμάτων αμεταθέτων, εν εις αδύνατον ψεύσασε Θεόν, ισχυράν παράκλη συνέχομεν οι καταφυγόντες κρατήσε της προκειμένης ελπίδος. Ιν ως άγκυραν έχουμεν της ψυχής ασφαλείται και βέβαιαν και εισερχομένην εις το εσώτερον του καταπετάσματος όπου πρόδρομος υπερημών εις ήλθεν Ιησούς κατά την τάξην μελχής εδέκ αρχιερεύς γενόμενος εις τον αιώνα Peace be with you and with your spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sophia or Thea, Kusomen to Waigiu Evangelio, wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace. Be with you all and with your spirit. The Holy Gospel is according to Mark. Let us listen attentively. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. At that time, a man came to Jesus kneeling and said to him, Teacher, I brought my son to you, for he has a dumb spirit. And whenever it seizes him, it dashes him down, and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out, and they were not able. And he answered them, O faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. And when the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, how long has he had this? And he said, from childhood. And has often cast him into the fire and into water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, if you can, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said, I believe, Lord. Help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You dumb and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him, it came out and the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, this, can, this kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer and fasting. They went on from there and passed through Galilee, and he would not have anyone know of it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, <clears throat> The Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And when he is killed... After three days, he will run. Eyes. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you.
Good morning. It's again so beautiful to see so many of you here in person and again everyone who is joining us through social media. Again, we thank you for joining us and being and praying with us on this beautiful fourth Sunday of Great Lent given recognition to St. John the Latter. Just a couple of announcements so we are well aware of what is taking place in our parish family. As you have seen in our daily emails since the official mailing that was sent out on April 1st, 2021, that we will be having a special General Assembly one week from today. Now, as you notice, when you came up through the front area, the entryway was a little bit different, and that is because the steps out front are being repaired, as many of you probably know, finally, that they are being redone, and they are being done by a parish family member who are, is donating the complete cost at no cost to the budget of the parish. So we thank that parish family member for doing that. But there are some things that we need to do in order for us to meet our needs, which is why a special general assembly has been called. And it is twofold. One, to focus on the direction of fixing the air conditioning unit. If you remember last August, July into August, our air conditioner, our compressor completely broke down. And as you saw in the email that was sent out, the entire timeline in history and the recommendation of the parish council to spend the funds in order for it to be fixed and to get us at least to status quo. The second item that is to be brought up at the special general assembly is that of the further structural analysis of the buildings of our property. Those of you that are here can see, especially in the last few pews, if you look where the trusses are, they have been leaning in a little bit. And that is being done because we need to make sure that what we do, we are doing to the best of our ability and making sure that we're following, God forbid, or, and doing a study that if we need to do something, that the building itself can take the wherewithal in order to have that done. These funds that are being selected and recommended by the parish council is not to get the project going. It is to get a structural analysis, just the paperwork for us to see what is needed to be done. So again, those are two things. And I will say this, and this will be my final statement on it. This is being done, God forbid, that if something does happen and our insurance company tells us, did you know about this and you didn't do anything? That is why this is being done. But again, this is outside of the budget, which needs the approval of the General Assembly in order to select and to put those funds in order for this to be done. If we do not have 50 participants for the General Assembly, so far as of this morning, we have 20 that have registered. If we do not have another 30, then we will have the follow-up date of the Special General Assembly which will happen on Tuesday, April 20th at 6.30 p.m. Again, please keep that in mind. I again want to thank everyone in their stewardship and their offering. We know that this past year has been a difficult one in which some of our parish family members have not been able to offer their time and their talent to the church but those and many of you have been offering your treasure. And as your priest, I thank you for your continued support, for your love and your outreach, and hoping that we are at least making a difference and bringing people closer to Christ and each other. I want to also state that today on a special open house through Zoom will be the Metropolis of Boston open house in which they will inform those families who are thinking of sending their young ones to camp and to give us all an update on what 
protocols and restrictions and guidelines they have so far put into place going forward into the summer. I've had many families have asked and reached out, when is St. Nicholas going as a parish family? We'll have to wait and see what we hear from the metropolis in the open house. The plan is to go April, um, uh, not in April, in the first week of July, the first session. But until that is done, we have to wait until we can see and what is able to be done by having so many probably young ones and their families want to attend our Metropolis of Boston summer camp. And again, I want to extend from the family of Tom and Amantha Saros their appreciation for your constant prayers. As you know, Tom had his surgery this past week, and he is in recovery. And again, we thank God for giving the surgeons that operated on him. He is doing well, and again, on the road to recovery. Continue to please pray for him, especially all those that are on our parish prayer list as well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hold on, let me say that again. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Okay, just make sure, that, again, it's not a performance. I don't stand up here and just do stuff. It's a participation. I say something, you say something. It goes back and forth. It's a beautiful dialogue. My beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, Today's gospel passage is one that hits the hearts of so many. Not because of what our Lord did in the miracle, but because of the pure and utter most beautiful, helpless words that a father said on behalf of his son. In so many times in this life, many times we are told of a negative statement. When we have, a young person has a hope and dream about wanting to do something, he might or she might get support from his parish family, from their family, but there might be someone that says, oh no, you can't do that. Don't even waste your time. Don't even think about trying to do something like that. And it can bring someone down. It won't work. It'll never work. Don't put your energy into it. My beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, if that father of that young boy would have listened to the apostles who just said, you know what, we, we, we tried, we can't do it, just take them away. We, we did our best. But the father went and knelt before God and said those words to Christ if you can do anything. And our Lord responded back, not by asking a question that He was mocked, saying, if, if you can. Our Lord turned around and said, if you can do anything, all things are possible to Him who believes. So our Lord was putting on the Father about having belief. If He wanted something done, He needed to believe. And then the Father said those beautiful words that probably many of you have either said before in your own way, shape, or form, and many times that I have said it, unfortunately, as a priest of His. I believe, Lord. Help my unbelief. He showed that there was still unbelief in his own belief. He had not gone from utter unbelief to perfect belief. In this earthly life, there is no such thing as a perfect belief. Even some of the great saints of the church had shaky times. It's only human to doubt. Yet, we hear those, again, beautiful words of the Father. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief.
I often think about this and how the Father was either looking at the face of Christ of either how or what His body, what His tone, the shakiness of His voice, and maybe even the tears in His eyes when He had said this to God. How He must have poured out His heart and His emotion again saying those words, I believe, help my unbelief. So many times in this faith, in this life, we are called to trust God. We are called to put our faith in Him. Especially when times are so turbulent that we don't know what will happen. This is when we reassure ourselves to look at the Father as an example And to say those words to Christ, if we need to on a daily basis, I believe, Lord, help my unbelief. And belief is something that is a personal one. Even though we might raise our families in the life of the church and in the church and have that done either by baptism and then raising them and having them go to church school and having them go and be a part of certain programs in the life of the church. And we say that the faith is passed down from one generation to the next. That is a saying, but faith is personal. One individual has to accept if they acknowledge who God is in this life for them. It's a personal relationship with God that will ultimately give them the proper guidance and to rely on Him and to trust in God and how He presents Himself to us in this life. I believe, Lord, help my unbelief. Faith is a decision, a decision to trust in God And to link up our life to His healing and strengthening power. Having unbelief, on the other hand, is also a decision. And an absolute unbelief in God means that we don't recognize Him. We don't trust in Him. We trust in ourselves. Instead of focusing and trusting on the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we focus on the personal Trinity. Does everyone know what the personal Trinity is? Me, myself, and I. For me, I got that song in my head. I'm an 80's rap group. It's De La Soul. Don't worry, I know who it is, Michael. I know the group. We must make sure that our faith can leap over anything that presents itself to us. And that when an unbelief presents itself in our belief in God, that we remember the story today. How a father didn't stop even when he went to the apostles who were healing. Yet, the Father went to the source of all and had a dialogue with God. And that's all God wants us to have with Him. We've been focusing on our daily reflections that we send to all of, and to everyone, especially when we sent the beautiful prayer ropes to everyone in every household, the importance of prayer and that prayer is a constant communication with God. And I don't want you to raise your hand, but I want you to ask yourself, do you pray to God every day the way you would talk to your parent every day? Do you pray to God the way that you would talk to your parent when you were a young child? 
Or if you ever see a young child with their parent, ours have grown up, and I know some of yours are as well. My wife and I were at a farm yesterday. It was a beautiful day. We went to go get some fresh fruit and some fresh vegetables. Yes, I eat vegetables now. Penelope, you should be excited that I've been doing that. Except for cauliflower. Sorry, I can't do it. Can't. But as my wife and I were walking out of the farm area, we saw, I think, honey, well, a two-year-old boy? And the mom was trying to take a picture, and he was on a bench, but the bench had little slots in it that, you know, he could... And the boy stumbled, and we were both like, oh my gosh, and the mom was like, he's fine, he's fine. And the boy looked a little frazzled, but as soon as the mom touched the kid's hand, as soon as the mom touched the kid's hand, because again, we're strangers, we have masks on, what have you, the boy looked at his mom and gave a huge smile. And it got me thinking, when we stumble in this life, and when we have those little slots that presented us in life in which we're walking, do we cry out to God the same way that this boy was looking for his mom? And the mom was right there to grab the boy's hand and to tell us as strangers, he's okay, don't worry, I got him. Do we talk to God like that every day? I can guarantee you, if you do, you have a beautiful relationship with God. He can give you the belief in your unbelief. Just like how we have belief that when we get into an airplane and the pilot tells us, Okay, everyone. Prepare to lock the doors. Flight attendants, please take your seats. Might be a little rough out there for a few minutes, but we're going to try to get through it. We're going to try to elevate to about 37,000 feet. And then we'll try to get there and try to enjoy the beautiful weather that is awaiting for us. All right, here we go. And all of a sudden we take off and we get in the air and then we look over and we try to, especially if you were younger, you're, you're looking at it, you're like, I see our house, Mom, I see our house, Dad. And then as you fly, you put your hope because all of a sudden you're going up and then you coast and you look down, you can't see anything and you put your hope in that pilot and that crew to get you to that destination. And sometimes there might be that turbulence in which, they, again, they let you know. Ladies and gentlemen, I've asked the flight attendants to take their seats. It's going to be a little bumpy. One time the pilot left his microphone on, and while we were going through turbulence, I heard this. Whoa! There went my unbelief. Well, who did I call to? 35,000 feet in the air, white knuckled on the armrest in which the other person right next to me was, had our hand on each other and it didn't matter if I knew that person or not. Again, praying to God, God, be with me. Allow me to land safe, safely and soundly. That's all we want in this life. For us to walk, for us to live in a life that will have turbulence in it. But making sure that when we have that turbulence of our faith, we can say those beautiful prayers, that beautiful reassurance. And then if you don't know what to say, Say the words that we hear from that Father today. I believe, Lord. Help my unbelief. Amen. Please stand. <clears throat> O oh God, you have visited us in our loneliness and mercy and compassion. You have set forth 
You have set us, your lowly, sinful, and unworthy servants to serve at your holy altar before your holy glory. Strengthen us for this service with the power of your Holy Spirit and grant speech to our lips that we may invoke the grace of your Holy Spirit upon the gifts that are now about to be offered. And grant that with always guarded by your power we may give glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. No one bound by worldly desires Amen. and pleasures is worthy to approach down here to minister to you, the King of glory, to serve you as great and awesome, even for the heavenly powers. But because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for mankind, Thank you. 
Εν τη βασιλεία αυτού πάντοτε νυν και αγί και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. May the Lord our God remember all of us in his kingdom now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. May the Lord our God remember your priest in his kingdom now and forever and to the ages of ages. gives here presented let us pray to the lord Lord have mercy for this holy house and for those who entered with faith reverence and the fear of god let us pray to the lord lord have mercy for our deliverance from all affliction wrath danger and distress let us pray to the lord lord have mercy and the love us os en eleison que dia philox animos o theos ti sicariti kyria eleison For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Ta kala ke sin ferondates psiche simon ke irini to cosmo para tu kiriu et i sommetho. Para asku kiriu. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Lord, for a Christian end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, you created us and brought us into this life. You have shown us the way of salvation. You have bestowed upon us the revelation of heavenly mysteries. You have appointed to us the service by the power of your Holy Spirit. Grant, therefore, Lord, that we may be accepted as servants of your new covenant and ministers of your holy mysteries. Accept us as you draw near to your holy altar according to the multitude of your mercy that we may be worthy to offer to you this spiritual sacrifice without the shedding of blood for our sins and for the transgressions of your people. Grant that having accepted the sacrifice upon your holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, you may in return send upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Look upon us, O God, and consider our worship and accept it as you accepted the gifts of Abel, the sacrifices of Noah, the burnt offerings of Abraham, the priestly offices of Moses and Aaron, the peace offerings of Samuel. As you accepted in true worship from your holy apostles, accept also in your goodness, O Lord, these gifts from the hands of us sinners that being deemed worthy to serve your holy altar without blame, we may obtain the reward of the faithful stewards of that fearful day of your just judgment. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Irini peace be with you all. And with your spirit. 
Agapisomen nalilus, let us love one another so that with oneness of mind we may confess. Pater aion ke aion pnevma triava omousion ke akhodiston. Tastiras, tastiras, en Sophia proskomen. Πιστεύω εις ένα Θεόν, Πατέρα Παντοκράτορα, ποιτήν ουρανού και γης ουρατών δε πάντων και οράτων, και εις ένα Κύριον Ιησούν Χριστόν, τον Υιόν του Θεού τον Μονογενή, τον εκ του Πατρός γεννηθέντα προπάντων των αιώνων, φως εκ φωτός Θεών αληθινών εκ Θεού αληθινού, γεννηθέντα ου ποιηθέντα, ομοούσιον το Πατρί διού τα πάντα γένετο, τον δει μας τους ανθρώπους και δια την ημετέραν σωτηρίαν, κατελθόντα εκ των ουρανών, και σαρκωθέντα εκ Πνεύματος Αγίου και Μαρίας της Παρθένου και ανθρωπίσαντα. Σταυρωθέντα τε υπερημών επί παντιού πιλάτου και παθώντα και τα φέντα, και αναστάντα τη τρίτη ημέρα κατά τας γραφάς, και ενωθώντα εις τους ουρανούς και καθεζόμενων εκ δεξιών του Πατρός, και πάλιν ερχόμενων μεταδόξης, κρίνε ζώντας και νεκρούς, ούτης βασιλείας σου και στε τέλος. Και στο Πνεύμα το Άγιον του Κύριον το Ζωπιόν, το εκ του Πατρός εκπορευόμενον, το συν Πατρί και Υιό συμπροσκυνούμενον και συνοξαζόμενον το λαλίσαν για των προφητών, εις μία αναγίαν καθολικήν και αποστολικήν εκκλησίαν, ομολογώ εν βάπτισμα εις άφεσιν αμαρτιών, προσδοκώ ανάσταση νεκρών και ζωήν του μέλλοντος αιώνος. Αμήν. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of praise. Η χάρη του κυρίου ημών Ιησού Χριστού και η αγάπη του Θεού και πατρό και η κοινωνία του Αγίου Πνεύματο ή με τα πάντων ημών. And with your spirit, ανώσχομεν τα σκαρδία, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Ευχαριστήσομεν το κυρίο, let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is proper Master, Lord, and Father, right. Almighty, it is just in the right to the majesty of your holiness to praise you, to him, you to bless you, to worship you, to give thanks you, to glorify you, the only true God, and to offer to you our spiritual worship with a contrite heart and humble spirit. You, For you have given us to know your truth, who is worthy to praise your mighty acts, or make known all of your praise, or tell of your wonderful deeds at all times. Master of all things, Lord of heaven and earth, and every creature visible and invisible, you are seated upon the throne of the glory, and behold the depths. You are without beginning, invisible, and comprehensible, beyond words, unchangeable. You are the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the great God and Savior of our hope, the image of your goodness, and the true seal of revealing in himself you, the Father. He is the living word, the true God, eternal wisdom, life, sanctification, power, the true light. Through him the Holy Spirit was manifested, the spirit of truth, the gift of sonship, the pledge of future life, inheritance, the first fruits of eternal blessings, the life-giving power, the source of sanctification, through whom every rational and spiritual creature is made capable of worshiping you and giving you eternal glorification for all things are subject to you. For you are praised by the angels, archangels, throne, dominions, principalities, authorities, 
powers, many Ikerubim, round about you stand the Seraphim with one with one with six wings and the other with six wings, with two they cover their face, with two they cover their feet, with two they fly crying out with one another with unceasing voices and resounding praises. Singing the victory and proclaiming, crying out and singing, Ton epiniki on him non adunda vonda ke kragota ke legunda. Aios, 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 who oh, created him and was led astray by the destruction of the servant to become subject to death through his own transgressions. You, O oh God, in your righteous judgment, expelled him from paradise into this world, returning him from the earth from which he was taken, yet providing for him for salvation, for the regeneration uh, in your Christ. For you did not forever reject your creature whom you made, O oh good one, nor did you forget the work of your hands, but because of your tender compassion, you visit him in various ways. You sent forth prophets you perform mighty works you by your saints in every generation it pleased you you spoke through us to the mouth of your servants the prophets announcing to us the salvation which was to come you gave us the law to help us you appointed angels as guardians and when the fullness of time had come you spoke through us to your son himself through whom you created the ages he being the splendor of your glory the image of your being upholding all things by the word of his power thought it not robbery to be equal with you god and father but being god before all ages he appeared on earth and lived in humankind Becoming incarnate of the Holy Virgin, he emptied himself, taking the form of the servant, conforming to the body of our loneliness, that he might change us in the likeness of the image of his glory. For since through man sin came into the world, and through sin death, he pleased your only begotten Son, who is in your bo bosom, God of, and Father, born of the woman, the Holy Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, born under the law to condense him in the flesh, that those who died in Adam might be brought to life in him, your Christ. He lived in this world and gave us precepts of salvation, releasing us from the delusions of idolatry. He guided us to the sure knowledge of you, the true God and Father. He acquired for us himself as his chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, having cleansed us by water and sanctified us with the Holy Spirit. He gave himself as ransom to death in which we were held captive, sold under sin, descending into Hades through the cross that he might fill all things with himself. He loosed the bonds of death. He rose on the third day, having opened a path for all flesh to the resurrection from dead since it was not possible that the author of life would be dominated by corruption. So he became the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that he might himself be the first in all things. Ascending into heaven, he sat at the right hand of your majesty and I, and he will come to render each according to his works as memorials of his saving passion. He has left us these gifts, which we have set forth before you according to his commands. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary and ever memorable and life-giving death on the night in which he was delivered up, for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy pure hands and presenting it to you, God and Father, and offering thanks and blessing and sanctifying he break, he, and breaking it. He gave it to his only disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sin. Amen. Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of the vine and having mingled it in offering thanks, blessing, and sanctifying it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Amen. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you proclaim my death, you confess my resurrection. Therefore, O Master, we also, remembering his saving passion and life-giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven, and enthronement at your right hand, and God and Father in his glorious and awesome second coming. O God, show favor to me, the sinner, and save me. O God, show favor to me, the sinner, and save me. O God, show favor to me, the sinner, and save me. 
Τόσο εκ των σών σι προσφέρομεν κατά πάντα και δια πάντα we offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. We praise you, we bless you, we give thanks to you, we pray to you, Lord our God, therefore, most holy Master, we also, your sinful and unworthy servants, whom you have made worthy to serve your holy altar, not because of our own righteousness, for we have not done anything good upon the earth, but because of your mercy and compassion, which you have so richly poured upon us, we dare to approach your holy altar and bring forth the symbols of the holy body and blood of your Christ. We pray to you and call upon you, O Holy of Holies, that by the favor of your goodness, <clears throat> Your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon these gifts you're presented. O oh God, show favor to me, the sinner, and save me. Bless to bless, Lord. sanctify, and make this bread to be the precious body of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And this cup to be the precious blood of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Shed for the life and the salvation of the world. Amen, amen, amen. And unite us all to one another who become partakers of the one bread amen. and cup in the communion of the whole, one Holy Spirit. Grant that none of us may partake of the holy body and blood of your Christ to judgment or condemnation, but that we may find mercy and grace with all the saints who through the ages have pleased you. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, martyrs, confessors, and teachers, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the fail to us, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary. For Saint John the Prophet, the Corner of the Baptist, the Holy Glory, the Most Honorable. John the Free those who are held captive by unclean spirits, sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel. 
defend the widows, protect the orphans, liberate the captives, heal the sick, remember, O Lord, those who are in bonds and exiled in our slavery, and every kind of affliction, necessity, and distress, those who entreat your loving kindness, those who love us, and those who hate us, those who have asked us to pray for them, and worthy though we may be, remember, O Lord, our God, all your people and pour your rich mercy upon them, granting them petitions for salvation. Remember, O God, all those whom we have not remembered through ignorance or for forgetfulness because of their multitude, since you know the name of each and each and every one, even from their mother's womb. For you, O Lord, are the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior, the afflicted, the haven of the voyager, the physician of the sick. Be all things to all. You know who each person is, requests his household and his need. Deliver this community and, and city, O Lord, in every city and town from famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, invasion of foreign enemies, civil war, and terrorism. Above all, remember, O Lord, our Archbishop and Father Methodius, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember, O Lord, Orthodox bishops who rightly teach the word of your truth. Remember, O Lord, my unworthiness. According to the multitude of your mercies, forgive my every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. Do not take away the grace of your Holy Spirit from these gifts presented because of my many sins. Remember, O Lord, the presbyter, the diaconate in Christ. Every order of the clergy, do not confound any of us who stand about your holy altar. Visit us in your goodness, O Lord. Manifest yourself through us, through your rich compassion. Grant us seasonable weather, fruitful seasons. Send gentle showers upon the earth so that it may bear fruit. Bless the crown of the year of your goodness. Prevent schisms in the church. Pacify the raging of the heathen. Quickly stop the uprising of heresies by the power of your Holy Spirit. Receive us all into your kingdom. Declare us to be sons and daughters of light and of the day. Grant us your peace and love, O Lord our God, for you have given all things to us. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Pandon ton aigion mi monev sandes etiketi en irini tu kiriu de ith. Amen. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. That our loving God who has received them at his holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance may in return send upon his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord have mercy. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. O God, the God who, who saves you, teach us justly. Thank you for the good things which you have done and still do for us. You are our God who has accepted these gifts. Cleanse us from every defilement of flesh and spirit and teach us how to live in holiness by your fear. So that receiving the portion of your holy gifts with a clear conscience we may be united with the holy body and blood of your Christ, having received them worthily, we may have Christ dwelling in our hearts. And may we become the temple of your Holy Spirit. Yes, our God, let none of us be guilty before these, your awesome and heavenly mysteries, nor be infirm in body and soul by partaking of them unworthily. But enable us, even up to our last breath, to, vi to receive a portion of your holy gifts worthily as provisions of, your, of eternal life and as acceptable defense at the awesome judgment seat of your Christ, so that... We also, together with all the saints, who through the ages have pleased you, may become partakers of your eternal good things, which you, O Lord, have prepared for those who love you. Ωσεν ουρανό και επί της γης, τον άρτον ημών των επιούσιων δώσει μην σήμερον, και άφεσι μην τα ωφελήματα ημών, ως και ημίς αφίεμεν τις ωφελέτες ημών, και μη εις εν έγγιση μας εις πειρασμόν, αλλά ρίσε ημάς από του πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Irini posi, peace. Be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To thee, O Lord. Lord, Master, the Father of mercies and God of every consolation, bless, sanctify, guard, fortify, and strengthen those who have bowed their heads before you. Distance them from every evil deed. Lead them to every good work and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these, your most pure and life-giving mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for communion of the Holy Spirit. By the grace, mercy, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, hear us from your holy dwelling place and from the throne of the glorious throne of your kingdom. You are enthroned on high with the Father and also invisibly present among us. Come and sanctify us and let your pure body and your precious blood be given through us to your mighty hand and through us to all your people. O God, show favor to me, the sinner, and save me. O God, show favor to me, the sinner, and save me. Let us be attentive. Pros comen. The holy gifts for the holy people of God. One is holy. The One is Lord. Is and distributed broken Jesus Christ. Yet is never consumed. To the glory of Save God the Father. Amen. Fullness of the Holy Spirit. Peace are yours. Peace, Kyrios. Jesus Christos. Amen. Lord Sante Upatros. Amen. And it turned on Praise 
his hand.
He hath set an ordinance, and it shall not pass away. Alleluia. Amen. Dracondes que passe a visi. Alleluia. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons. And all ye abysses. Alleluia. Metaphorvo theo pisteos que agatis proselteter, with the fear of God, faith, and with love draw near. Amen, amen, amen. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has appeared to us. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. No. Is the man to fall so love of man, never put on me on. Every man pissed in a litty, all the air at on triava proskinundes. After God, he must has a son. Always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, creating and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To we thank you, o Lord, Lord our God, for the communion of your most holy, pure, Immortal heavenly mysteries for which you have granted us the benefit and sanctification of healing of our souls and bodies. Grant, O Master of all, that the communion of your holy body and blood of your Christ may become faith for us, unashamed love and fame, fullness of wisdom, healing of soul and body, repelling of every hostile adversary, observance of your commandments, and acceptable defense of the awesome judgment seat of your Christ. For you are sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who place their trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and forsake us not who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift that's from above, coming from you, the Father of lights, to you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the, the of name of, of the Christ Lord has been accomplished from and this time forth and, 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 and to our the ages. We have seen the deepest of your resurrection. We have been filled with your unending life. We have all enjoyed your inaccessible, your 